Welcome back to another video on Gearsaw Studios, and today I'm going to be covering 1.21.5.25, yeah, Bedrock Edition names, where they finally fixed the Pale Garden, and it only took them one update to do so. So let's see what they changed and why this biome is good now. Right here, you can see, well, it's 1.21.50.25, you know, Bedrock Edition names, but right here you can see a picture with a lot of the new things. And this is the resin block set. And a bunch of other changes have been made. First off, well, resin. It is dropped by the creaking heart when it is destroyed. And it can be crafted into blocks of resin which can be used to craft creaking hearts again, which makes them renewable. Hypothetically, you can destroy them all like Skulk Catalyst and make something go extinct. But as long as you have one or so left, and maybe a few pieces of resin if that's gone, you can always bring it back. And you can see, it's a block set, has brick, stairs, walls, slabs, and a chiseled version. And you can even find them in Woodland Mansion chests. Then, for those people saying there's not enough life, well, here you go, the Eye Blossom. And during the day, they'll be closed, and at night they'll be open, and they have the Creaking's Eye on it in order to start tricking you. Of course, it's typical Minecraft stuff where it's not actually that hard to determine the difference, kind of like how creepers supposedly blend in with leaves and stuff like that. And then, depending on how you craft it, with a suspicious stew, blindness or nausea. And in order to not make this segment excessively long, well, here's a list of the things they've changed, and now back into Bedrock Edition. Right here, you can see it's the Pale Garden, and these are the Eye Blossoms. You can see they're starting to bloom because the sun is starting to set. And these flowers are interesting. They'll poison bees, although they won't poison the player. And, well, of course, they change their appearance based off of time. These are considered separate blocks, not block states, outright separate blocks. Which means you can grab them and use them in your build separately. So keep that in mind, you can use these for quite a few things. Definitely going to have to make a tutorial on how to build here. But anyways, this bomb's generation conditions are still subpar. I mean, look at how much roofed forests there are, and then there's this tiny fragment of Pale Garden, and it's stuck on top of a mountainous area. How am I supposed to make my 100 by 100 block cemetery in this? But anyways, this biome it has gotten a few changes. Of course, the eye blossoms. But also, the creaking's behavior makes this biome so much better, like deep dark level kind of good. And I'd argue that if the generation conditions were a little bit better, it might even be better. You can see the creaking's animations are a little weird. This might actually just be a glitch, but who knows. And it's stronger now. I'm not going to test its damage because I tried recording a clip of me doing it, but oh my, Bedrock Edition is so hard to type in. But anyways, the Creaking does two hearts of damage, which makes it an actual threat, and it's faster, attacks faster, still has a hard time attacking on Bedrock Edition, but still. This thing is actually a threat, and of course, still invincible, but here's what happens if you start attacking it. Of course, we all know this part goes up to there, but look, you can see there are these resin blocks, and these are like skulk veins. I initially thought they were their own block. I can break them, custom sounds, so I'll be quiet. And yeah, with that in mind, the creaking heart is in here. And when you mine the creaking heart, you get some of these resin clumps. And now the creaking will have a unique behavior when it loses its heart. So here's what happens. I mine it and it will drop a block. You can see the creaking there now collapses which is a really interesting mechanic. So, of course, you should see how that works in game. They'll even drop some items if you did them the correct way. And now you have an, an actual interaction chance with the creaking. You go there, you defeat it, and now you get resin. And resin can be used for quite a few things. And it has its own block set. Going into the creative menu here, and then I get resin, and you can see it's a complete block set. There's even resin brick, which looks like some sort of cool ingot. Starting to wonder if this is what the potato snapshot was talking about. But anyways, all of these are, well, normal blocks. And you can even armor trim with them, which is really interesting. 
Also cut the custom noises. You can see, it is a completely valid block set. And it's a certain kind of orange we don't really have. This could work really well for beehive settings, for something more orangey than honey. Which, honestly, I'd say this is more honey-like than honey. Now, getting myself some armor trim items. Gonna get a trim. Silence is the most notable, so I'm gonna use that for my example. Gonna get a chest plate. And then you can see how this will work. And yeah, sorry for my slow behavior here. It's, I'm not used to Bedrock Edition. It's been several years since I've really last used Bedrock Edition for anything. And then I go in here, I put in my trim, and then if I put this in, well, turns out you have to use the clump, not the brick. And then I activate it. What do you know? Actually, really nice orange. Oh, so if you really like the color orange and you hated the copper trim, well, you have the resin trim. And this is actually really important now. You have a reason to go here for armor trims. You have the creaking heart, which drops XP and a whole new block set. And the creaking is actually a threat now. This biome is legitimately worth your time now. And I'd go as far to say that it's fixed and would probably be one of the best biomes in the game. My only complaint is its generation is so small and fragmented. Like, almost every dark forest that goes into a highland area has a pale garden. If I were in charge, what I'd do is I'd set it to a similar weirdness value to what the cherry grove does. So that way, most of your dark forests are not affected. However, when you do find a pale garden, it will be gigantic. Which I think is the best course of action. Otherwise, I'm really looking forward to the winter drop now. This is going to be a really interesting block set to play around with, and the biome is really fun to play in, actually, if I wasn't so bad at managing Bedrock Edition, that is. But still, I'd highly recommend going out Bedrock Edition if you have it with the preview, and then enabling this certain experiment. And yeah, you can play around with the new creaking. It's actually really fun now. Now, before I end off the video, Here's a demonstration of what the creaking really does now. First off, its damage is much higher. And looking back, you can see it has a different attacking animation, looks like some sort of weird headbutt. At least it does a heart and a half on normal, which is pretty respectable. Try attacking it, you can see resin machine. It has immunity frames, so you can't make this a crazy way to produce tons of blocks. But anyways, once I go here, I can mine it. And then I get some of the resin. You can see the creaking, uh, kind of brutal death animation, and then finally vanishes. And then the actual creaking itself does not have this death animation. But anyways, yeah, it's a lot more interesting. Honestly, the creaking heart, I wasn't expecting it to be that gory, kind of. Like, I don't know, it makes me feel a little bad for the creaking. But otherwise, this is a really good biome. It has an incentive with the resin and such even has an armor trim, has a wood type. If they fix its generation conditions, this will be an amazing biome and real, well, oh, solidify drops as a worthwhile game thing. I mean, we had a little bit of a lackluster with the pause, the armored pause one. I mean, wolf armor did not necessarily solve the wolf problem because, you know, we do complex things in Minecraft. Inevitably, they're going to get hit by environmental hazards, but still, it's pretty interesting to see what they're doing with this biome. And with that, it's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, remember, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Either way, enjoy the rest of your day. Gearsaw out.